Hello guys, welcome from our education Dalton. So guys, today we will be discussing about the GMAT quantitative lesson plan. If you are preparing for the GRE examination, you can go with uh, this quant lesson plan because within the GRE exam as well, the quantitative part is same as that of the GMAT examination. And we guys all know that this time uh, the quantitative section uh, which uh, we are going to discuss uh, will cover the whole topic of that comes in the GMAT or in the GRE quantitative aptitude test guys of uh, you might be knowing about the fact that nowadays the um, colleges in USA or in Europe and even in India are uh, also accepting the uh, GRE scorecard right so uh, whether you are preparing for GMAT or you are preparing for a GRE the quantitative section is one that section that will help you to gain the good insight of uh, the you know, skill set which is being required to clear these topmost examination guys so let's start with uh, the the uh, targeted audience for uh, this uh, video if you are preparing for GMAT examination you are the one most welcome to continue this video and uh, any MBA preparation students like in India if you are preparing for CAT, ZAT or uh, SNAP examination, Maharashtra CET examination you can continue with this video because uh, almost the topic in tested within this examination are common uh, with the uh, within among all the examination right guys so the important GMAT quantitative topics are ratios factors and multiple systems of equations rates overlapping sets right triangles inequalities exponents percents and percent change coordinate geometry after doing uh, the great analysis i have uh, come up with these topics for the very simple reason i analyzed uh, the gmat uh, past question uh, patterns over which i see uh, the uh, weightage of many questions so what i found like these are the topics over which you will be getting the major questions upon so as we all know that in GMAT quantitative uh, section uh, there will be 31 questions uh, within 62 minutes right you will be given the 62 minutes and there will be 31 questions so can we say that approximately you will be getting a two minutes per question right so if you will be having the clarity within your mind like what all topics you are supposed to focus on life will be easy for you if you are the one uh, who is targeting above 550 so uh, this is my analysis mm -hmm. like uh, you should go for the overlapping sets factors and multiples category over an extra edge just focus on these topics as well apart from the uh, previously mentioned topic okay because you will be getting um, a good question somewhere around two or three questions on these topics uh, as soon as uh, you will be progressing your test uh, around above 550 right so uh, this is what uh, gmat works upon uh, to harden up the question uh, it includes the question from the overlapping sets or um, from the factors and multiple categories guys and if you are the one who, who is targeting above 720 plus questions like if you, if you want to get into you know harvard in Siad, indian school of business iams in india all one year program or uh, maybe
maybe uh, I am Jason Zapper, Switzerland, uh, Singapore, kind but all top colleges if you're targeting then definitely you can't ignore factors in multiple topic and uh, inequality is also one which is uh, tested you know in the GMAT examination it uh, you have to put your heels extra on the inequalities as well guys uh, for any examination you are going to prepare I always tell people that it's not just about uh, what you should study it's also about what you can avoid while your uh, GMAT uh, quantitative preparation guys we all know that how you know laser focused how laser focused things work right so I uh, always suggest people uh, to work for a uh, first upon the things which matter most to you or for most to uh, the examination purpose so uh, you can always avoid uh, those kind of topics so in case of the GMAT quantitative section of uh, if you have not completed the previously uh, mentioned topics by me uh, then uh, just avoid these topic for uh, the uh, while why I'm saying this because uh, you will be getting uh, or you may be or may not be getting a one or a zero question from uh, these topics the topics are combinations probability standard deviation absolute value surface area cylinder questions compound interest uh, formula based questions and functions okay so you may get one questions or uh, zero questions on these topics so when uh, we talk about the questions of 31 questions right so first you should uh, focus on those topics with which you can able uh, to attempt 21 to 22 questions uh, rightly right uh, so guys uh, uh, we at our education taught in will help you uh, to clear your basic concepts in uh, the upcoming videos okay uh, from this uh, quantitative section guys uh, there is one request like if you are not from India okay and you are not an engineer so you should not have any kind of uh, fear for quantitative section right it's just the math it's just the basic math which is being tested in the GMAT examination I do agree that there are other deep concepts involved within it but uh, with the good instructor like us at our education dot in who is having around seven years of experience in training students for the GMAT examination and I have successfully placed students in EVY business school Columbia business school Harvard business school Indian school of business you should not have any fear all right thank you have a nice day take care